Well, at the end of the last video, I left you with a battle, um, and uh, it was the rebels attacking me in the Hojo place that I'd just taken, um, and those are the results. He managed to get one with his bowmen, I think, so... Um, oh dear, I can't believe he's actually got somebody away. That's ridiculous. Everybody left that battlefield shattered, so that is a bit of a nonsense, I'm afraid. Failed. That was the one where I had to take the port, if you remember, so uh, let's not worry about that one. D he got away, I can't believe. He actually got somebody away, where is he? He's there. What did he get away? Everybody was shattered that left that field. Bowmen, 33. Hmm. Strange. I think I'll just ride those down with horse from here anyway, but uh, anyway, I'll, I'll sort all that out um, now. I what I need to do is do the previous video and get that one uh, um, all sorted out, because oh, I need to record that one before I move on to this one, really. Um, otherwise, I'll lose track of where I am, and I've got to slot the battle in and everything that I did on a save replay and all that. So anyway, um, I'll come back to this one in a moment and finish off this video. Well, now I'm left with a slight problem of sorting out these. Um, see what we can do. I'm pretty sure I've got some ships around. Yes, I have. Here we go. Let's launch these at him. And I'm not going to bore you with uh, the setting up of the sea battle, so I'll get in there and then I'll show you just about the point when we start to pound. Because that is all he's got. Okay, here we are again. Um, obviously it's going to be a pretty dull battle is this one. Um, the sea battles are, I'm afraid. The uh, reason being that, um, that basically all they do is they fire bows at each other, or shoot bows at each other. I keep getting that wrong, don't I? Um, he's got hardly any bowmen left on that ship anyway, so it's a waste of time. I've got my fast ship. Ship? Is it a ship? I don't know. Right. The ships can't shoot over one another either, so... Oh, it's routing. Oh, good. Right, I'll let's send my... No, I'm not going to let you get away. That would be stupid. Huh. Please don't tell me he's going to manage to get away. That would be so irritating. Huh. Guys, get after him. I want to capture him. One of the disappointing things about this as well, of course, one of the other disappointing things about sh sea battles, I should say, is that, hey, why aren't we chasing? Come on, give chase. Don't be stupid. This is my fast ship, you see. So I'm hoping it's fast enough to be able to catch him. Uh, you can't sell ships. That's a disappointing thing. Or one of the disappointing things. How's he doing on this? I don't know, it just says 6 out of 38, so I can't really tell, can I? Well, I think we're catching catching up with him. We must be, actually, because we've managed to shoot a couple of times in his direction. He's still got 6 on there, hasn't he? We don't seem to be able to... Oh, got it. <laughs> so we don't seem to be able to shoot out uh, all of them, do we? It's just the, the enemy archers, I think. Well, that's why I keep a fast ship in the fleet, of course, so that I can capture his ship, his ships. Um, I presume that. Oh, I, was gonna say, I presume that means it just got added to mine. I'll check that in a minute. What's going on? Where's that general gone? Here he is. He just um, increased in value, you see, it increased in rank or whatever. So I need to make sure I get that. What's this? Plus five replenishment rate. All units under this man's command. Plus one to command during ambushes. I don't need that one. Uh, let's go for a replenishment rate then. Okay, it's probably a bit of a, probably a bit of a waste of time. I want admiral, so I want to go for this one. Notice, by the way, if you complete one of these, it negates the other one. So I'll talk about that a bit later when I look at the ninjas. Something I've discovered there. In fact, well, I say discovered. It's something I think was explained to me some time ago, but I don't think I got it at the time. Okay. Um, I hope now. Uh, my ships can be... Oh, I nearly press scupper then. Cost, 150. I think I can afford that, don't you? Right, uh, now this is the way I'm going to get rid of him. Uh, no, I'm not going to... What's happening? Come on. 
now I'm not going to fight that battle on the battle map. Why is that general attacking him? Come on. Right, okay. I've had my um, mouse driver updated by the way, or rather I've updated it, because um, I was getting some lag and I, I couldn't move around the campaign map with the mouse. I mean, I prefer the mouse. Okay. Uh, so I should have overcome these problems. I'm going to leave him on there because he'll replenish. If I put him back on the ships, he won't replenish. You can't replenish while you're on ships, even if you are an admiral, whatever that means in this game. <laughs> right. Uh, ninja. I want to get rid of his... Um, uh, oh, I don't know. Any agents in there that will stop my ninjas taking out his uh, generals. Uh, assassinate who? Metsuka. Let's have him. If we can. Come on, please. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, yes. It'll increase as well. Even better. Ah, and it now gives me my opportunity to demonstrate. Uh, right, here. Uh, notice that these only have the option for here. If we look down here, he now has the option for these. Uh, but if I go down this route, yeah, I can't then go down this route again. Yeah, oh, hang on a minute. It's not working now. What's going on? If I complete this, yeah, it means then, I believe, that I can't then move down one of these levels because you become an expert at one of these. But I'm going to test that at a later date and see if that's correct or not. Um, so you specialise, in other words. You can go generally across them and then generally across. But I believe when you go to a level down here and complete it without completing that level, you can't then go back to those. I, I suspect that's what happens. Anyway, anyway, I'm going for the assassin one for him because I think that's going to be the most handy. Where's my other ninja? He's over here. Uh, let's get him. I've just, do you know, I was um, halfway through doing that sea battle the first time round, and the doorbell rang, and it was a Jehovah's Witness at the door, and I left it on recording. I was like, oh no, editing is not the strong point of this software that I use, so um, I couldn't really do anything about it afterwards. So, uh, anyway, the main thing is the reason why I'm telling you this story is that it was Jehovah's Witnesses at the door, right? And all he did was hand me a leaflet and disappear. I thought, what's going on here? <laughs> You're supposed to talk to me for hours, you know. Anyway, he didn't, so well, I'm very pleased. Okay, assassinate. Uh, I like the new... Any Jehovah's Witnesses out there listening to this? I like your new policy. It's brilliant. Oh, wow! That's brilliant! He's got no general in there anymore. Well, he's only wounded and he'll come back, but... Oh, wow. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with that. Right, okay, um, next thing I want to do is um, take an army from here. And in this army from here, bearing in mind he's a horse territory, I want to make sure I've got some spears in this attack, don't I? So I think what I'll do, uh, here's my army, where's my army? There's my army. Right, okay, so if I leave out, I, I want to add what's in here actually. I know I've got a bow unit in there. So I'll leave a bow unit behind. I'll leave do 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 um some horse behind because I know I've got a horse and I think I've got spears other than that in there, you know. So hmm maybe I'll uh take one lot of spears with me and then the rest so I think I've got so that's one, two, three well, I don't know, um, four, five, leave those behind, and then go in with the rest, I think. Okay. Hopefully they won't reach. Have I left five out? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I think. Yes, left five out, yeah. Uh, right, okay. It's uh, switching lights out, isn't it, if you like, you know, these yellow lights. <laughs> now, hopefully they're not going to be able to attack this turn. No, they're not. So that's good. So I can now add these to the army. And hopefully... That will mean we've got enough to take him on next turn. 
That's the general plan anyway. And of course you've got no general in there now. So I'm going to recruit in here now. Um, it looks... Oh, in fact, I'll tell you what I might do as well. I might get move one of those monks out. Let's get some of these. I can recruit three at a time in here now. Obviously they take two turns each, but I don't think that's going to matter, bother me too much. Let's get one of these monks out to um, make my army happy in here. Inspire the army. A four-star monk, I think. Oh, look at that. That's good, isn't it? Right, okay. Get in there. Ah, right, okay. I'm beginning to think he hadn't reached then for a moment. Right, okay. Um, I've got a monk that's sort of spying out here at the moment. I don't want to incite with him or do anything, really. Um, because I want him to be able to um, spot any enemy mov movements that might occur. So I think that's probably about it for now. I might just uh, get the um, food in here um, because this is going to want to be able to feed itself, isn't it? And we've got 304 left. Okay, that's good news. Um, but before I end that turn, I'm just going to have to take a short break. <laughs> Well, I hope that was only a blip for you. Um, let's uh, move on. See if I can uh, um, get this army to come and attack me with a little bit of luck. Ah, oh, build look at that. Crikey, he's building up a decent force there, isn't he, as well? Didn't expect there to be anything decent there, really. Hmm, uh, he's retreated. Oh, I don't suppose that's a surprise. Well, when you think about it, he had an army similar to the size of mine, didn't he? I mean, it's a bit cowardly of him, isn't it? Uh, what is it? The quality of my general, the quality of my troops that's made him run away? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe the Tagida are not as much to be feared as we thought they might be. Uh, it's good that my, um, I don't know if they're allies, I think they're allies, aren't they, those green ones? Uh, they're moving along the northern coast there, because it means that my um, northern province there is a little bit more protected. Because they're... <laughs> trade disrupted the Hojo. Probably means they're dead. Um, let's go and have a look, see what's up here. See what's lying in wait for us. <laughs> Ah, ha. Oh dear. It's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, if I sabotage that army, does that mean they won't come on when I do my attack? Right. Oh, that's a different army. That's not the same one we went into before. Hmm. Oh, that's naughty. He's got two armies up there, hasn't he? Well, I've been warned about getting 40 units, so I don't want two full armies, um, because I'm worried my prestige will go too high, and then I'll... Well, it's not prestige. You call it fame, don't they? Why aren't I attacking him? Come on. Assassinate. No. Oh well, you can't have everything your own way, can you really? So, let's go for it. See if they both come into the battle. He shouldn't do now, should he really? That wouldn't be fair. Okay, that's fair, isn't it? Right, so the um, um, subversion, or whatever you call it, it worked, didn't it? He only seems to have one army coming on, and the other one has been kept out. I didn't, I, I didn't realise that. So that's um, 
that's been a good thing to see, hasn't it? And perhaps to show that um, if you're attacking somewhere, then you can prevent another army coming on as reinforcements if you subvert it. Interesting, isn't it? Anyway, let's get into the battle and um, find out uh, what happens. Um, yeah. It's, uh, I'm quite impressed. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, let's start the battle and we'll find out exactly um, where his reinforcements come out. I think I'm going to end up fighting his reinforcements first and this should take us to the end of the video as well actually I would have thought. Well the uh, beauty of a battle replay is you can sit back with a nice cup of tea and watch what's going on and it's a lovely day outside as well. I keep getting bits of clown and I'm wondering what's going on but anyway here we go I've uh, lined up my troops in the pass that I identified as the place where they come on on this flank here I have mountainside which you can't get past and I've formed all my spears and I hope I have did at some point yes into the um, what is it the spear stand or something the thing that enables me to uh, repel cavalry charges anyway so oh here it goes here he goes was his general? I thought I'd killed his general. Did I kill them on the wrong force or something? Oh yeah, it was the other force, wasn't it? Um, no. um, I'm only just watching this myself, actually, this battle replay, so I don't quite know how it panned out. Anyway, um, you know what it's like. I mean, I'm, I'm now targeting my archers. They were, they were firing at the, shooting at the, uh, the horse. And um, uh, now I've got them shooting at the ones at the back. And of course, what happens when you do that? They move as well to get into range, those that are out of range. So I'm reforming those and shooting only the ones here that I can up there. So here we go. Managed to get them on fire as well. So I think I hit his katana samurai. I hope I did. Um, the reason for that was they were his most effective troops. His others are just um, Yari uh, Ashigaru. Lots of those. So these are the ones I'm most likely to take. That's right, Katana Samurai. Down to 93 out of 120. You think of the number of bows that are shooting in there. It's just phenomenal. It really is that, that he's got that many left. Uh, what's he got now? So he's 67, almost down to half. So we've virtually taken a unit out of him. So the idea is that with him being the most effective unit against my um, spears, um, I do a spear stand and then charge through, having hit him with my bows, charge through with my, my own samurai when he's at his weakest. So we're going in against um, his samurai, um, which there should be hardly anything any left, there probably aren't any left at all now, and uh, the rest is his um, Yashi, um, uh, uh, Yari, Ashigaru, sorry, just looking at so what's going on. These might be some of my spears as well here, no, no. Oh no, they're my katana salmon, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So we should be. It looks like I've got spears as well, this side. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, there's Yari Ashigaru in there as well, isn't there? Okay. Right. Um, I sent my horse into his flanks and then realised that more bowmen had come on afterwards. So, oops, so I targeted my um, archers at his rear bowmen, the ones that were here, and then charged my horse in. I don't know why they've gone back again. A strange thing happened there. It's something to do with these routing that made them go back and want to attack them. What I did was sent them in towards these. As soon as I realised they were going backwards, I sent them in again, charged them in again. Um, the idea was to get as close up to his bowmen as possible. See, look, they want to go back again, don't they? It was really strange that. My horse wanting to continually go backwards. So, anyway, we're managing to kill some of them now. We've managed to get 20 of them out, or is it 19? Right, now you notice some of my um, uh, arrows are going in there as well. Um, I'm not sure wh how I got my timing right, but uh, there came a point when I thought this was too much of a mess for me to get my bows involved in. And so, oh, my general's coming down as well now, of course. In fact, what I didn't realise is I targeted the same lot of bowmen, didn't I? All these here. I could have done really with, with going for these and for these. Of course, we've run all the way through now. I've realised that we've taken out his um, Yari Ashigaru, so I've sent my um, 
well, my own Yari Ashigaro after his bows. And his bows were broken anyway, of course, because his general had gone, the rest of his force is gone. If you look on the top right map now, you'll see that everything is falling apart for him. Everything is routing. So I'm just mopping up now with any melee troops that I've got, especially the horse, if I can get away with it. The, the archers, because uh, they were shooting at my own men, I've decided to move them away. It seemed to me to be the most effective way to prevent them from firing. I mean, I, I've, I've taken them off. I did take them off um, automatic fire anyway. Look at all those horses there. All killed by spearmen. And if you look, um, there are hardly any spearmen there, are there, next to them. It, the, the men lying there are the ones who come off the horses, really. There's a spear there, and that's probably a Yari Ashigari. So I lost hardly any for that pile of bodies along there so it is extremely effective folks there's no doubt about it and of course your um, sword armed infantry against his spear armed infantry again extremely effective there's no doubt about it so okay um, now the plan now is to get the archers into position I'll just show you um, how it works um, inside these fortresses or how I've decided to deal with them this is the garrison that you get with a stronghold. I think it's called a stronghold, this, isn't it? I'm not sure. Um, he gets um, uh, an archery tower there and an archery tower there. They've got the same range as your bowmen. If you line up, you'll see it in a moment, your bowmen along here, yeah, you will shoot, if you judge it right, you'll get a firing arc, shooting arc, whatever you want to call it, along there, like that. It will arc out like that which means that you cover everything inside that area. If you then get your bowmen on this side and do the very same thing, so the arc goes from here to here on this side, obviously, of the um, uh, the towers. Oh, and by the way, when I was talking about the, um, the uh, ship action earlier, I said you can't fire over your own ships. What I actually meant was um, you can't shoot across your own bows. In other words, you can't damage your own ships when you fire over them. I didn't mean that you can't fire over, because you can. You can use your bows to shoot directly over your own ships. So basically, you just have to think of um, as the ships as floating archers. You know, some ships are big enough to get more archers in. Um, right, OK, so you can then cover that area there, you see. Now, that means, OK, there's a bit of an overlap here in the middle, this, this sort of like oval in the middle here, or is it an ellipse? in the middle there, where you can get two lots of fire, yeah, but um, there would still be then an area whereby, whoops, let's just get this round, an area here whereby, okay, you go around there, and the other side is shooting around there, which means that this area here and the tower itself, this area here and the tower itself, is not touched. Now, the only way to deal with that is to get another bow unit to sit on this corner here, so it can just shoot that corner there. Uh, and of course this corner here but with another unit um, that means then that his towers will never be able to shoot at you now unfortunately while I was getting myself into position these chaps here getting them into position they've stopped for a moment because I'm just waiting for those to get into place um, they do have to go around this point here or I found they had to I could probably move them around there but I'm not too sure really but when I went across there uh, where are we? Not those. Where are they? Where my other archers are? Here they are. Right, okay, these here. When they went across this point here, they got shot at from this archery tower because it's just in range, only just in range. So I had to rush them at that point there. At the moment, I'm concentrating on, and this is why these are standing around, I'm concentrating on mopping up any of his troops that are um, running away. Um, so I don't I realise at this point that they've stopped. Um, I will bring up the, um, the the melee troops as well, ready for this attack, just in case he does find some way of avoiding my um, arrows over here. So, okay. Oh, fairly soon, the bowmen should be in position. They were in position first on this side. Now, uh, by this time as well, their ability to shoot flaming arrows has returned. So I should now be able to shoot those ones out on that corner there facing me with B. 
burning arrows. There we go, we start to move these. I'll just show this because you'll see exactly the effect. Well, I think it's this unit here, 118 he's got in here. Now, as he comes across, he's walking, remember? Now, I speed him up, obviously, you know, to sort of minimise the amount of time that he's in the, um, the zone of that, uh, of that tower. Where are we? It really was quite a quick battle, actually, this, but it's in two parts because I'm having to um, obviously attack the, the fort as well. I wanted to make sure I'd defeated his relieving force first. So you've got 118 there. Now at some point, I think it's just when we go round this corner here, you just go round the side of that of that hillside. I hope it's easy to get hit. They give you some idea of how many a tower like that shoots out. Right, 117. Is that right? See, I speeded them up now, realising that he was shooting at, firing at me. What was shooting at me? <laughs> Got one there killed. So it's just one he killed in that one shot there. 117. I think we've got away with it, haven't we? Yep. Okay. Now, if we look over the other side here, we should see... Whoops. We should see that these have begun, begun to fire. Uh, fire. Can I call it fire when they're f shooting fire arrows. No, haven't, they haven't shot yet. But it's about to come. What I'm doing at the moment is concentrating on my other troops, of course, getting them into position where they can't be shot at from that tower. And how are we doing for time? I don't know if it'll tell me there. Ten minutes. Yeah, I should get all this onto, onto the one video, shouldn't I? It'll be quite a good video then, because we'll have a, a short sea battle, and then an assault, which is me attacking his reinforcing army, and also, uh, well, a pitch battle, sorry, me attacking his reinforcing army, and then an assault on the uh, uh, on the um, stronghold. I always wonder what these things are. I haven't got good enough yet at telling what they are yet. It's obviously not a castle, of course. These remind me of a series of books that I read about um, uh, Genghis Khan, The Wolf of the Plains. It was a series by Con Igledon, a series of books. He's still going to write more, I think. Um, but anyhow, um, uh, he's got lots of quotes from Genghis. It's fictional, you know, but uh, they're true quotes from Genghis. And, whoops, oh, I missed it. Missed them going in. Oh, there's still more. There we go. Wow, there we are. Look at that, 98 out of 150. So they still only killed 50 something, didn't they? Maybe 60. There's a lot of archers there. So about 300 archers to kill 60. It's not a brilliant kill rate, is it? Anyway, yeah, he talks about um, strongholds and defences as being. I, I think I've mentioned this before. Um, as being prisons for whoever's inside, because it just coops them up and, you know, makes them vulnerable to the falling stone walls. You know, the Chinese have these big stone um, castles that they built, and, um, and also to being starved out, and also to, you know, any sort of thing that he hails down on them like this, like arrows and, um, and use mangonels as well, or something like that, some kind of catapults, anyway. Uh, Now, I did think that some of these would get away. You know, what normally happens is, in, in the assaults that I've done before, is he'll move his men over to the back, but on this occasion he's realised there's absolutely no point. So he just left them in one place. Normally they'd dance around, move to the back, perhaps move to the front a little bit, Ooh, move to the back, kill time, basically. Um, Well, as you can see, there's very little left. Um, my, If you look on the top right map, you'll see that my uh, infantry are now forming up. Um, my hand combat troops are forming up. Uh, have you lost any of these yet? Yeah, 31 out of 45. Yeah, he's lost some down here, hasn't he? And he's moved them out of the way. He obviously wants to defend this point here, because this is one of the points that needs to be defended. Okay. Okay. 
Well, while that's happening, so let's have a brief look along the line of all the heroes that have just um, defeated the enemy. The Takeda horse and everybody. Just before the uh, replay ends. My horse is still off gallivanting, of course. Um, killing people that are trying to run away from the battlefield. Okay. See, this is where I think that stronghold would surrender. Anyhow, that's the end of the battle, and um, I'll show you the results. Well, here are the results of a particularly um, splendid battle for me. Um, so, um, he's lost... I've lost 156, he's lost over 2,000. And here are all the scores here. I should have picked up some useful chevrons as well amongst all this. But looking down them briefly, I can find hardly any. Um, Light Cavalry, Yari Ashigaru... Um, uh, Yari Ashigaru, the ones I thought were least likely, but anyhow, never mind. Um, I, oh, Bo Ashigaru, they've got some as well, but we picked up some. That's the main thing, isn't it? So that's what it's all about. And he's got some away. Uh, that's not good. It's not good that he's got some away. It is good that he's got them away in winter, of course, which <laughs> I might claim I contrived, but I certainly didn't. Um, uh, I think now what I'm going to have to do is some, for some armies or do something, oh, I don't know yet. I'm going to have to have a think about that um, for the next video. For now, where am I? Why don't I need to repair anything? Is this the one I've just taken? It is, isn't it? That's extraordinary, isn't it? I've never known a situation where I don't have to repair something straight away. Oh, look at these. All this possible horse that he can get, but he can't get them because he needs these buildings here. I can recruit this turn. Isn't that odd? Right, OK. And my troops will be replenished in one turn, it looks like. Yes. Whilst his are going to be um, losing on attrition. Um, in fact, looks like he's already lost, doesn't it? Oh, no, maybe not. That's just 144, isn't it? But uh, anyway... Um, Pretty successful result, worth putting into a video, I think. <laughs> uh, so you can watch that battle. Sounds marvellous. And uh, I don't know about this one over here. I haven't seen those. Uh, these are the ones I've just defeated. How... well, OK. I, I know it was all a bit close up, wasn't it? So the ones at the back might just well have got away. But I'm really surprised that anything got away from that battle. I really am. Um, didn't stand much of a chance. What I do like about this is, the um, just looking at the campaign map now, you recognise it from the battlefield. I know it's not exactly um, spot on, but uh, you saw the peak area. I lined up my troops here, um, the left of my um, spearmen. There was some... Um, uh, what was it? Some Actually, there were some buildings, weren't there, as well? I don't know if it shows those or not. But um, there were some buildings over this side of it, and then there was uh, the wooded area, and then this protected my flank, and I ran my spearmen almost totally across there. And I'm not sure. M it might have even been across here. I don't know if you let me go that far, because my horsemen were in an area here, if you remember, and they attacked from this side, you know. But um, anyhow, um, pleased with that one. Gosh. Looks like a volcano. Doesn't look, what's that? Crikey. Doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> uh, mm, I hope we don't have natural disasters in this so my troops could all get wiped out by lava. Uh, anyway, OK, let's get the recording done.